Hey there, YouTube. Today we're looking at a knife from France. And do you know who sold this to me? I'll show you. Knives of France. All right. So it came in this. Which is, I guess, kind of neat. Um, this is the tip of the horn. I'm almost positive. Um, although I myself am French, I don't speak any, so. And here we are. Um, this is, uh, hang on, I gotta grab. Or else I'll get driven crazy. Um, this is, I ordered uh, one that looked not so beat up from France. Not, not that this one is. This is nice. From France. From a French dude. And it came. It was all beat up and like not good at all. And this is way better. And I would honestly highly encourage people to spend a little bit more money on the... Um, hang on. When they pick one of these up on the Lagoule. Because... This one looks great. It has a, I think this is forged, um, B on it. It doesn't slam down. I mean, you can tell by wiggling it when it's down. Uh, the other one did. Basically, this one is like 10 times better. And it's, it's pretty clean. I realize that a lot of people don't care about this, but it's pretty clean in there, too. I mean, I haven't taken the time yet to clean it all out, get it up to, uh, a standard where I'm like, okay, you know, this is pretty cool. But, uh, I mean, I just got this. It's really good. It's really good. This is a great knife. Let's check on the, ooh, is it off? It's off a little. Oh, uh -huh, well, I guess I better throw it away. Um, the traditional cross that it said shepherds prayed to. I don't know about that. Maybe... Um, it's probably just because they're religious. I don't really know if they're praying to the knives. Let's just put it that way. But it's a cool story, right? It, but it sounds like a lie that a French person would tell to sell you a knife. And that's why I kind of don't believe it. Because the French lie all the time about knives. They're the biggest liars. They're almost as bad as the Italians, honestly, when it comes to lying about knives. Not that they don't know what they're doing. I'm just saying. The stories that they tell... I mean, I got a bridge to sell you because that's horseshit. But this thing is amazing. Oh my gosh. I think I paid, this was 135 There's no shipping because um, Knives of France doesn't charge that. I'm going to link them below. Um, yeah, but I paid for this. I got a couple bucks off because I'm a repeat customer. And there was also, I think, a sale of some kind. Um, man, look how nice this is. And, uh, how's the tip looking? Let's look at the tip. I'm just looking this over now with you guys. So, um, 12C27 is a great steel. It's stainless, yes, but Sandvik steel, um, has a very fine grain structure. So, it's good to go. And I realize that some people, like, there's this whole, you know, you got to have a super steel type of thing for the modern knife people. Not so much the traditional knife. I just don't believe that that is actually the case. I, and also, beyond that, um, hang on, let me, I don't want to cut myself. Let me see how some of this is. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, oh, yeah. So, like, M390, unless you have, like, uh, a diamond something to sharpen that with, good luck. And if you were to put a chip in it, uh, you'd basically just have to throw it away because it would, I don't even know if you would have the means to, to take any real amount of um, steel off the blade. I mean, obviously you could, but... Yeah, I really like this. Uh, I know this looks like a plain little bee, but... Uh, or fly, but um, that looks way better than the other knife that I got. I gave my I gave that knife away to a buddy because it was just like, what is this? 
And it's not, you know, I get burned sometimes. I'll take a chance on a knife that maybe I can't really restore even though I want to. That was the case with the other one. But I think that's just part of the being a knife collector. And, you know, you're going to be a little bit willing to maybe um, get a couple of lemons just to find out. Because I've gotten so many good ones, uh, knives off of like eBay that are used. and um, But anyway, yeah, this thing is great. Fits in the hand great. Uh, this is a, a time-tested, true design. Uh, it doesn't feel slick at all. Um, these are just barely proud, uh, which is fine with me. I mean, I, not everything has to have the recessed pens of GEC. Um, yeah, this thing is pure class. I like it. I'm going to carry it. And it came in this nice little box thing on my bob but uh yeah that's about all she wrote for this one